when Shri Baba started giving directions through Brahma Baba. At that time, Brahma Baba did not have any example before him. You know, he did not have any template before him which would show what an embodiment of Baba's directions looks like. And Brahma Baba was the one who listened to whatever Shri Baba said and totally imbibed it in his actions, totally and completely. And till this date, you know, Shri Baba says, follow Brahma Baba. And it is very interesting that there are only eight in the rosary. Yes, only eight souls who became Bap Saman. So, when we look around us, you know, we must always see Baba, see Brahma Baba, follow Brahma Baba's footsteps. Because only eight souls manage to be like Baba. And Baba says only eight will manage to be completely like Baba. So, it is very necessary that you keep only Baba in front of you and keep following in the footsteps of Brahma Baba. And today there's a very um, elevated quality and you know, simple things make you great. Simplicity is simple things make you great, but it's very difficult to have those simple qualities. And today Baba says in the blessing that Brahma Baba had this quality to put someone before him, you know, you first. And Brahma Baba, to Brahma Baba it made no difference whether you did something or he did something. He always said that even if the child does the seva, the name of the father is glorified. So he never had that feeling that, you know, I will do it. So I, I first was not his motto. And it's a very big quality to have. And Baba says, see father, follow father. So if we see Baba, and just follow Baba, then we will have this quality of, uh, you know, I, you first, putting the other person before you. That's, that's the quality that, and not in just work, but in credit. So, you know, by allowing, uh, you know, giving the um, setting the road for someone to do something, setting the road for someone to create a fortune or at least not, um, you know, creating obstacles for someone <laughs> who is creating a road for themselves is a very big quality. And um, this quality Brahma Baba had and Baba says that when you are in a position of authority, so you know, when you are in a position to um, put someone before you, because if you are off behind someone, you cannot be the one <laughs> putting someone before you, right? So it's the people in the authority. And if someone is in authority and they have the capacity to put someone before themselves, then it is a great quality to have. And Baba says, 
how will you become the king of a king so you know the interesting thing is becoming the king of a subject is very easy yes so um cre- becoming the king of a subject is never a problem because the subject is subservient so uh you want to be the king of a subject but how do you become the king of a king yes so uh, do you have the quality of becoming the king of a king when you have no insecurity when you have no insecurity whatsoever and when you are so full from inside only then can you you know can you support a king go ahead and if you support a king in going ahead then you become the king of a king because that one who is going to become a king deeply bows down to you from the heart because you had the you know you had the quality to to set him ahead so that's how you become the king of a king and i don't know whether um you know when we walk this path becoming the king of a subject is very very easy and um so serviceable children they are very interested in creating subjects but as soon as somebody tries to become the king or somebody is competent enough to become the king do you become threatened by them or <laughs> and do you start you know pulling them back or do you uh, do you still support them so you know suddenly because you know i have seen it in many walks of life that until you are the subject until you are three four steps behind everybody is very nice to you but the moment you start taking a way a step forward then the whole scene changes suddenly everybody who was your friend starts becoming your enemy and then you um you start thinking what did i do wrong here what did i do wrong where did i go wrong i've been doing this all the time so i was moving ahead and i'm still moving ahead where's the problem so those same people who were supporting why have they suddenly started you know uh, becoming going against you and then they keep saying telling you that because we had been supporting you all the time and now we are against you then there's something wrong with you but that's not true it's just true that uh, they supported you until you were behind them and now when they start seeing that you're moving very f- moving ahead very fast then they start feeling that it's their duty to pull you back because otherwise you will be ahead of them so you know it's not it's not ahead it's ahead of somebody which is the problem <laughs> and when somebody is in ego they think that you know uh, when some somebody should go ahead but they should stay behind me <laughs> so you go ahead but stay behind me once you start going ahead of me then i am going to crush you down like anything and then you start doing the worst the impossible and and so baba says that you know i am giving you shrimat which is very different from shrimat makes you elevated i am not teaching you kaliyugi goodness kaliyugi you know what is kaliyugi goodness kaliyugi goodness is the bad camouflage does good and mama in one of the murli said something very beautiful mama said that maya will behave like a friend but will have animosity inside herself so there'll be animosity inside and she'll behave like a friend 
and that is how you know vices work. So, in, in Kalyug, you know when you see goodness, it means that you know on the outside it is goodness, but inside there is not virtue. So, the foundation of virtue is not there, the foundation of self esteem is not there and the foundation of uh, you know a solid character or a good uh, spiritual stage is not there. It is just very fickle, it is just very hollow goodness and but when Baba teaches us to be good, He teaches us to be good inside out and that goodness comes from a very strong character that goodness comes from self esteem, that goodness comes from knowing who you are. So, Baba says that Brahma Baba was never threatened to put anybody ahead of him. He always said you first because Brahma Baba knew that I have to become the king of kings, not the king of subjects or <laughs> paupers or I have to become the king of kings. So, how do you create a king if you are very secure? Only then can you create a king. Otherwise, you know, uh, and this is why, you know, Brahma Baba became the king of kings. But, um, but if, if children do not follow the Brahma Baba's footsteps, then how do we create the kingdom? We'll only be creating subjects. Yes. So Baba says that every child of Brahma Baba should have this beautiful quality to put everyone ahead of themselves. You know, you first. So and if you can say you first, then you know, you will hear you first also. So because you know, you, this world is like a big place where everything echoes. So, just like you know, you go and say something in the mountains, it comes back to you. It is the same system of the world and when you say you first to somebody, they say you first from the heart. Yes, and that is how you know, you earn genuine respect genuine love, true true love, true regard is earned like that. But if you are insecure and you try to pull somebody back, then that, that person will not have genuine regard for you. And because that person is going ahead, so of course they will go ahead in life, but you will lose genuine regard. So, one thing you must understand, anyways you can't stop anybody, can you? So, everybody will reach where they are destined to reach. But how you behave with, with them will decide your karma and your destiny. So, you know, if somebody is good enough, they will go ahead. If they are virtuous, if they are even in the lokic sphere or a lokic sphere, wherever, if somebody is doing, making the right effort, they will see the light of victory and nobody can stop them. But if you try to stop them, you lose your respect. And if you could say you first, you earn the respect of somebody who is going to go ahead. And this is why it is very important to understand this method to how to become the king of kings. And especially you know when you are in the Brahmin family and you know that everybody is becoming a deity. So you know uh, you must understand that when you are when you extend your love and support and cooperation to everyone, then they will look back and they will, uh, they will have genuine regard from the heart for you. And then according to drama's plan, 
you will become a bigger king than them. So this is something that Baba is telling today and it is very very uh, interesting and also worth following. And Baba says that no one would then say that they have not seen Father Brahma. Let your actions and your stage clearly reveal Father Brahma. And you know, uh, there is, uh, so you know, there is this feeling even in the Brahmin family sometimes that we didn't see Baba. We didn't see Brahma Baba and we didn't receive the sustenance that Brahma Baba's, uh, that children from Brahma Baba received directly. So now that you become such an instrument, then they will not say that we didn't see Brahma Baba. They will say we saw this brother, this sister and uh, we received the same sustenance that we would have received if there was Sakar Baba. So we saw this brother or this sister and we felt that we received the same Palna. So that is something that we need to create now. And Baba says that very simple uh, qualities that look very simple but very difficult to imbibe because you know they require effort they require all your ego insecurities and everything else to finish and if you do that in a work then you can be like father brahma and uh, today i was also thinking you know when uh, you read something in theory and then you go and do it in practical so doing something practically is very different from doing it in theory yes so you read a recipe and then you go and start cooking it it's uh, it's a lot different <laughs> reading a recipe sounds like oh you have to do this and after that do that and after that do the other but then when you start doing it it's um, it's very dif it's a different thing you know it's practically doing it it's a very different thing similarly you know we listen to baba's murli and baba's directions and baba says my directions make you elevated but we listen to those directions but uh, do we apply them practically because applying them practically is a whole lot of thing, you know. So, uh, you know, when you read a recipe, there are no disclaimers like, you know, when you, uh, so they don't tell you that, you know, when you boil milk, it will come out of the utensil. They just tell you that you have to boil milk. They don't tell you that you have to stand there and watch it <laughs> because it, it might come out of the whole utensil and then when you just read the recipe and you go and boil milk you know that it comes out and otherwise it sticks to the bottom and there are hundred things happening but in the recipe they only mention boil milk they don't tell you the hundred other things that will happen when you do it so Baba says that similarly when you uh, when you listen to the murli you don't understand that you have to do it despite many other things so you know you you listen okay be sweet okay i am sweet but you don't understand you have to be sweet amidst <laughs> everything happening so you know amidst all the people that are not sweet to you and amidst all the things that are happening and all the charges that people are pressing against you and they are accusing you of you know many things and which you never did and but still you have to be sweet and then when you start practically doing it you that sweetness goes out of the window and then you say okay Baba said be sweet but Baba didn't tell me all of this stuff and so so maybe you know you can be sweet 
uh, when you are in a different situation but not in my situation properly probably my situation is something that baba didn't think of so he said be sweet or something <laughs> so this is how you know uh, the things happen and when you read the theory it looks like okay what's the big deal and i will tell you one incident so there were these uh, two friends who turned enemies and you know later they had a discord and then each one was trying to prove that the other one is wrong right and then uh, it was very interesting that one person told me that this person always the other one he sent me greetings on my birthday and on holi and diwali and he always said you're a good person so then how can he say i'm a bad person today so he said that if he called me good then i am good and then i said if he called you good he is good <laughs> so so you see that if a pers- if in the world if you have said somebody is good then they start using that against you and they start saying that this person themselves said i am good so i am good and maybe they are bad but how can a person who always said you are good be bad <laughs> so the one who always tells you are a good person and always sends you greetings and congratulations how can that person be bad and i said and i i was the only person amongst 20 other people who could point that out and i said this person is always sending you good wishes this person is always sending you congratulatory notes this person is always telling you you're a good person then how can this person be a bad person <laughs> somebody who is always speaking good is a good person right and today you are trying to use this against this person that's not the way so this is how you know in the world when you start practically doing things then uh, and it, this is a very interesting thing that somebody said that you know a person always telling me that i am good is a good person because he told me i am a good person <laughs> that proves that i am a good person and it was very very interesting for me to see that scene and um and you know baba says that in the world when you operate so you have to understand that maya will be there all around you and maya will always try to pull you to play in the dirt you know maya will always try to pull you to um not be sweet and you know again play that ego game and again play that game of i am right you are wrong so do you understand that you cannot say i am right without saying you are wrong and then you start saying that i am right and i am right and i am right and the other person says then am i wrong then you start saying yes you are wrong <laughs> so so don't so maya will try to just you know drag you into that game and when you start being when you try to be virtuous in practical uh, scenarios uh you have to do it with a lot of yoga power and baba says just keep remembering me because you know the moment you forget baba then everything else starts clouding your intellect and everything in the world and the pulls and uh, all the vices that are trying to get your attention they start having an influence over you and then you don't even know that you are saying you know you i must be good i should be good and then you've turned bitter and soiled and you've done everything that baba asks you not to do so that's why you have to be very very careful and stay introverted stay in baba's remembrance so that you can discern and decide what to do because 
the 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 whatever happens outside can sometimes just drive you crazy and then you forget the line between shrimat and ravan mat so baba says that it's very important that and um, i think you know the most important practice in this brahmin life when you want to move ahead is you you fix your time of the day so you know time table is very important so there has to be time for yog so you have to fix time for yog not just uh, not just amrit vela amrit vela is a must and then in the day also you know baba has set traffic control for us and even if you cannot follow the same time table you know you must have your own time table for traffic control and other stuff and if you can follow the traffic control system very good because there are other bks also having traffic control at that time so that also gives you support but it's very important to fix timings of the day where you go within and just disengage from this world and just see yourself in baba's light and remember baba and be colored by baba's knowledge and purity and love and peace in those 2 minutes 3 minutes and it's very very important because you know otherwise the color of the world will just be there on you and you will not even realize it so it's uh, this timing and going within and allowing yourself to be introverted and remember baba and allow baba's knowledge and purity and peace and love to color you for those seconds and Uh, you know when i do traffic control or whenever i go within the first thing i tell myself is that it is only between you and him in the end nothing will matter so you know whatever is bothering you is just temporary and uh, in the end that will not matter but what you do in that situation will matter because that will be your karma and uh, you don't want to let baba down so however much you know you are attacked or you are you know you are uh, feeling because things are happening but don't let that affect your action because and the end it is just you and baba so there is no reason why you shouldn't listen to baba and shouldn't follow shrimat and give in to those temptations of ego and anger and other stuff so it's very very important that you take these moments where you go within and realize that at the end it is just you and baba it is no but no one and nothing matters nothing that happened nothing that is happening nothing that is said or done nothing matters it's just you and baba so i take this moment every day many times a day and just remind myself that you know whatever is outside is outside and in the end it will be immaterial and what will matter is you and baba and you better follow what baba says rather than giving into the temptations of maya and today also baba says that your behavior should be very royal and mature and um, you see um, there is um, when you think about royalty in the world so you know royal people so um so royalty is always associated with a lot of you know um self discipline so let's say you know there is a child born in a royal family and then uh, that's a child but you know that child is supposed to behave royally 
you know, behave in a royal manner. That child is not allowed to play games in the dirt. <laughs> so, you know, and as a child, you may not have that sense. Yes, that dirt is dirt. And you might be very tempted to play in the dirt. But you are supposed not to play in the dirt. Yes, do you get it? So, you know, people say that um, being common, being normal, we missed as a royal family. So, you know, there are many people who say that I missed being common and normal because I was born into a royal family. So, what's so great about being common and normal? <laughs> so, you know, being common and being normal is very glorified. And being common, being normal, just like that's glorified, being vicious is also very glorified. So when Baba says that, don't give in to vices, be royal. Our, our royal is not royal royal, it's divine royal, right? So Baba says, be, stay in your divinity all the time. So... Uh, even if vices attract you because you know it's something that's in your sanskar so uh, they will attract you and you will want to behave like um, you know people say that uh, if you are viceless then you are either abnormal or super normal <laughs> so, so you know <laughs> in the world vicelessness means you are either abnormal or supernormal and they say that it's the same thing. Being abnormal or supernormal is the same thing. And Baba says that no, being, being viceless is perfectly normal for a divine being. And Baba says stay in your royalty, never touch impurity, even in your thought. So, you know, although having an impure thought might attract you as the most natural and normal thing to do in such a situation. So, you know, the other day somebody sent me um, some kind of a message and in that message it was written that, uh, you know, when you have these feelings which are, uh, which are you know, uh, feelings of sadness, or feelings of impurity, uh, don't, uh, don't subdue them, you know, don't suppress them, you must let them out. So I told them, okay, I agree with you, don't let them out, but let them out where? So you know, you know that when it, there's a clogged drain, you have to clean it, but do you clean it in your living room? So, do you allow that water to pass in your living room? No, you have to find a place where, you know, that water can pass and go. So that, you know, that the cleanliness is ensured. Otherwise, you know, you don't say that if it's a clogged drain, then you have to let it out in the living room or the bedroom. No, it's a clogged drain. You have to clean it. But where is the question? And Baba says that if you have these feelings, you know, sometimes you will have this um, spurt of ego. So Baba has given us the directions to be royal. But okay, even in our thoughts, you know, there's a streak of ego or anger or maybe, you know, um, right or wrong is going on. Then what do you do? You have to process it. Processing is very important. But how do you process it? You sit before Baba and process it. So you sit before Baba, you remember Baba's, you receive Baba's light and love and allow those feelings to just, you know, fade away in that light and love. You don't go and create karma out of it. That's not how you behave. So Baba says being royal doesn't mean that 
you know even uh, even in the royal family they are trained that you will have many thoughts but don't go and execute it so here also baba says be very royal and mature and baba tells us in the murli that even when you have thoughts and feelings don't allow them to come into action that's royal and mature because when you allow that to come into action then it creates karma and it gets very complicated because actions have consequences yes so and then there's a vicious cycle you know you do something because so let's say you know you are not in your senses at some point and you do something but can you just say that i was not in my senses and so i shouldn't be punished no you have to bear the consequences of it so then you deal with it then you know some repercussion comes then you again deal with it so this is why baba says that be always royal and mature like a peahen and baba says when you speak from the mouth your words have to be jewels not stones and you know jewels and stones are both hard yes so so they can both hit <laughs> the other so when you give a jewel also sometimes you know people feel hit so because they are like the same thing but uh, later they will realize that's a jewel so you know somebody throws a jewel at you uh, then you you try you also you know you start getting feeling like they hit you but when they, they see it they know that's a jewel so baba says that you know truth is also people say truth is bitter because truth hits you hard but it's a jewel so slowly gradually they'll realize it so baba says give jewels not stones and baba says that those who pelt stones stones are worthless you know meaningless words when you're saying something which is of no value then you're defaming baba's name okay om shanti